of that walk in the United States and we also had Protestantism and we also saw Protestantism signing out all the um, the churches the um, in in um, in the ecumenical pack during Corona while Corona was going on in in China on somewhere between February 22nd to 24 one of those dates all right and that was done on the United Nations so um, and now we have so 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 the churches went out in, in bulk and now we have the individual level where the individuals right and will be given a mark and this mark seems really to establish the satanic ownership in man and a knowledge of the fourth commandment the commandments especially the fourth commandment in particular helps one to refute that mark and defend God as creator so the Bible says in Revelation 20, 20, 14 12 here is the patience of the saints here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus so ladies and gentlemen this thing about commandment and Sabbath is not a joke it's really for your security you are high risk we don't have knowledge of the scriptures on these matters. And it's a thing of spiritual warfare. Now, white, the prophet white again alludes to the threefold union of the beast to trample conscience. And that's exactly what the mark is going to do, to trample conscience. And Great Controversy 6.24 on the title the impending conflict she talks about sunday sunday worship and this is where a lot of people stick you know we have the prejudice here and we stop but the rest we don't see it because it was not written then but you couldn't write anything because you don't know yourself all right belief in the immortality of the soul and spiritism belief in the immortality of the soul and spiritism are co-values entwined with the creation of technology there is power associated in communicating with the imma, immaterial spirits or the immaterial worlds these are the celestial worlds these are the worlds of the um, you remember those angelic beings that came out God showed out of heaven right and some came and so people go and it's normal it's normal normal the feeling of being God and having bumpest control and having the ability to direct the affairs of others to one's own whims and fancies is really a big thing. These are some of the satisfaction that people get. And um, this is attributed from Margaret can come in this um, Duchess of Newcastle on her description of a new world called the the blazing wall I mean it's a piece of friction but no sense come out of friction and it's cited in Spencer and Todd 1990 the anthology of British women writers pages 28 to 31 well I'm an English major so we have to deal with those things as well 
So let's look at the outcome. The overcomer's reward. In Revelation 24. So you have to overcome in order to get the reward. If you take the mark, you get the plagues. So those who don't take the mark, let's see the reward. And that again is a portion pulled out of one of the series from the series Revelation 24 and I saw thrones in heaven and they that sat upon them and judgment was given unto them that's the saints and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded that's the same thing eh? the saints they call them saints you, know, you accept Jesus Christ you're a saint all right for the witness of Jesus so witness that's for the sake of the gospel and for the word of God the truth using the truth to dispel to analyze and dispel the error so and which had not worship worship who the beast so they didn't give allegiance to the beast neither his image and um so we talked about that in, in um corona 2 um again video the image to be so all our we did not give our allegiance also to the united nations in terms of reinforcement of the beast we don't accept we don't worship we don't worship the like Pope Francis live this year, that will see because that which is actually um the it's it's like the policy is the policy um the current policy current global policy um it's not does not lead to eternal life um it's a sociological document and environmental and of course it talks about um, okay, um the common is among religion but it does not um give the glory to jesus it does not accept jesus in the plan so it may sound hard but ladies and gentlemen we need to know the facts of the truth in order to protect ourselves from the risk that is ahead of us so this is not time for softballs all right neither received his mark upon his forehead so that nor in the hands so that idolatrous mark of the chip is something to think about because it is as laudable it is plausible and we have to think about it and they lived and reigned with Jesus Christ a thousand years let me say Bible say Christian belong to Jesus Christ the Bible say our bodies are the temple of God it's written on our genes and Jesus said he who destroyed the body you know in the thing he will also discipline or destroy them now it is interesting the kind of nail on the head Jesus makes and they are fitting situations they're fitting why did you just say that why did you just say that why did you just say that but they're fitting into the crucial points. So Jesus said wasted words. You know exactly. So these saints, these overcomers, who did not take the beast, but it was not a fanciful matter. They were persecuted, they lost their lives, they suffered. But Jesus suffered for us. So Jesus it was quite interesting. Jesus said, Rejoice for your for your for your salvation is at hand. And he's an end man. How you could remember even Jesus when his time was at hand, he couldn't rejoice enough. You know? He was so he was so with grief. 
but he went through and the blood came out glorious so similarly you know he said occupy till i come so we are occupying till he comes but at the back of your head you need to be cognizant of the things that are ahead of us and so we need to pray as you just say watch and pray that he enter not into temptation so the saints reign a thousand years that's only the first part of the vacation you know one thousand years after this second res the first resurrection when jesus returned but then after that with the destruction of satan and the final dis um you know termination of the allotment for sin you have eternal life forever with god so ladies and gentlemen you know and that, I, that compassion always get to me because some people are honest in the evil that they perpetuate but they don't know because from birth or even some of them were willing to it so they don't know i'm talking about generational and um, things they don't know so that's all they know and they're honest about it but they're looking for eternal life ladies and gentlemen eternal life is not found in you it's not found in them. I mean, hadn't sin come hadn't Adam sold out in Eden we would have had it and we would have remained on this earth and we would have lived but because of sin God could not give eternal life and mix holy with the unholy with the corrupt we would have been destroyed a long time. So God in his wisdom withhold. So he gave an allotment. Because God is in the view of the whole universe. And he just can't do things. He is held in, in court. Because it's unclean. So when the whole mystery is finished. The whole universe will say yes. God is just. And Satan himself will bow. And all the people lost will bow. Why are you waiting to bow now? Then, when you could bow now and get released and run to Jesus. And then have eternal life. God said, I will make a new heaven and a new earth. Wash out all the old. In Revelation 21, no more dying, no more death, no more sin, no more misery, no more pain. No, 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 no more hospital, no, no, more, no more all these worries, all these burdens that we carry, ladies and gentlemen. God said, you know, wipe it away from us and will make us light again, as it was in the beginning in Eden. And, and we'll be, in the resurrection, we say we'll be built by angels. So the things that we're looking for, God already has them waiting to give us. But he said, in summary, while Sunday worship is the identifying mark of the beast power that works on behalf of Satan, because that beast power was identified in Europe, first beast. And the Bible says, Satan gave the beast his seat. And it's obvious. He gave him his seat and he gave him his power. All that peace and power and riches and what you give him. So the beast is working on behalf of Satan. So I recognize that beast power in Europe. But the universal mark, the beast forces on all globally is the mark. of Satan's claim to ownership of the people and that is known by the second beast in um you know that attribute is the second beast the extension socket a competitive brand of God's creation right so that's where the chip that we're talking about coming right so now a knowledge of the commandment particularly 
biblical sabbath the fourth commandment is vital in making decisions against accepting the mark which leads away from idolatry so ladies and gentlemen the hallmark of the technology is inside put it alter the mind alter the genes a new man a new you that is idolatry of the highest nature so we ought to know whose we are we can only not take it if we know whose we are we belong to jesus as we are our genes we have the stamp of god on it and in our minds we have the holy spirit that tells us how we must behave and the bible says the spirit teaches us and coerces us to believe god's truth so this is very important so anything that leads us away from those values is a we need to look at them seriously because our salvation is at risk and many of us now are in awe with the technology yes we use it an interesting thing ladies and gentlemen remember they said anything that satan do he set the stage for god so he do wickedness he set the stage for blessing so it's it always true satan juxtaposes god and when he does his wickedness he actually sets the stage for blessing so he working on behalf of god in his wickedness so look at what the technology has done where it was impossible for the gospel to reach by foot and land and air it is reached by technology with the flick of a button the prophet said she saw the gospel run on the wings of light so ladies and gentlemen the technology do not good for the gospel and that is good but that same good we need to watch it we need to watch it because Satan used the good for his purpose you don't looking at that and it is amazing how the Christian uses it for the good of God quickly we got to use it quickly because it wouldn't remain we wouldn't always have it to do that so a knowledge of the commandments right will help us to identify the error in the technology and make the decision to honor God as written in our lives while technology brings many benefits to mankind we must be careful with hinging our value system onto it for the thing we love most can put us at risk with our salvation and God's reward of eternal life so the call Ladies and gentlemen, we must be careful of our perception of ourselves. And how we play out that perception with God and others. For if we view ourselves too highly and others lowly our god our creator ways might be perceived as too condescending for us he being better a god to the poor and inferior thus our pride will only lead us to seek the world of the immaterial spirits materialism or other gods for our god we must choose it is written in us 
and to deny or to defy means we got to find a substitute. But Jesus, the loving shepherd, invites you to choose him today. Right. 